Back in March, President Trump signed a $2 trillion federal stimulus bill to assist travel-related companies like airlines and hotels. But one piece of the travel industry puzzle says they've been left behind. Here's News 5's Emily Hamilton. At one point or another, you can't go through K through 12 without riding a charter bus for something. Most Americans have boarded a charter bus. Whether it's sightseeing, it's traveling, going to sporting events, um, anything like that, the motor coaches are the backbone to our society. But those whose livelihood depends on shuttling large groups of people to and from events, hotels and airports, say their portion of the travel industry may go belly up due to COVID-19. Baseball games, football games, sporting events, concerts, Cedar Point, school, school activities, sightseeing. That's what we do, and right now with the country being locked down, we're not doing a single thing. Ben Bolog is a member of the Ohio Motor Coach Association and says he's working with state lawmakers to find additional financial resources for the charter bus business in the Buckeye State. Most of us are hoping that the SBA loan or the PPP loan comes out. Uh, but those are loans, so we'll still have to pay those back if we even survive. Motor coach businesses fear this puts a strain on people living in rural areas who depend on charter buses and those who may not be able to afford other means of travel. More than 40% of passengers that go to the airport or from the airport are taken to and from the airport via motor coaches like the ones that are behind me. Bolog says if the charter bus industry fails, other businesses may crumble too. Cedar Point. We bring almost uh, a third of Cedar Point's revenue to Cedar Point through charter bus operation. So taking a third of Cedar Point's operation revenue from them just by eliminating the buses could bankrupt the company and put Cedar Point off the map. Emily Hamilton, News 5.